There's a series of trails that you could take just beyond the Swift Current Inn that we did on one of our last days of hiking on the east side of the park. Red Rock. Red Rock. Red Rock. Red Rock. <laughs> it's here, but he, if you go to five, oh. that's the Bullhead Lake. Okay, so we're doing two mm. stops today. So we're gonna pass, looks like Fisher Cap Lake, Red Rock Falls, and Bullhead Lake. And then it should take us, it says four hours, and given that we stopped for photos, bite to eat, we'll be back in the afternoon probably. Mm -hmm. So now we just have to find Not this. Not going to Swift Current Pass though. Starting point. Cause that's eight hours total. Oh. Yes, yeah, so you can keep going. That's another one, that, five, five look miles. It climbs, climbs almost to 7,200 feet. Yeah. All right, we'll play things by ear. We won't go all the way there. But... No. So we just passed Mr. Ranger, who said that there's been bear sightings on the trail we're going to hike on. Yeah. We have. We are prepared with our bear yes. spray. Yes. Yes. I'm not looking forward to running into one of those because I had an encounter with a deer yesterday that he almost peed his pants. Almost jumped out of my trousers. <laughs> Snuck up on yeah, me. Yeah, it was worse than the squirrel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, still uh, walking to try to get to the start of the trailheads, but there's somewhere at the parking lot of the Swift Current Motor Inn, which we're going to take a quick peek into because they have a restaurant which may give us some better options than what we're getting at our Mendy Glacier Hotel. I think we've kind of sampled most of what they have to offer. All right, here we go. Pass. You are here. All right, this looks right. All right, I think it's gonna take us toward where we wanna go. Yep. Red Rock is 1.8 miles. Red Rock Falls, yeah. Swift Current Pass is 6.6 .6 miles. And they don't have listed on here Bullhead Lake, no, so but it's on the way. It's right yeah, here. I mean, it looks, it looks from the map like if Red Rock is 1.8 to the end of Bullhead Lake is like double from where we are. Yeah, a little bit more. Maybe. A little bit more. All right, the new walk of the day. Here we go. The nice thing about this area is most of the hiking is it's fairly flat. But I believe that the entire path, if you go all the way to Bullhead Lake, is rated kind of like as a, at an intermediate level. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, you know, you and I have figured out, okay, that's got to be because of the length, because there really right. wasn't elevation gain. Right. So we did this hike one day. Again, it's a hike that I think, you know, most people in a family would be able to do. You can make a decision how far you want to go. So we're at the lake, and it looks like we are going to circle the lakes around this edge, and there is a falls on the other side of that, which is the falls that we, um, the first stop on our hike. Didn't have my trekking poles, one rock under my foot, then guess who has a boo boo again? But luckily somebody brought bandages with them, so. Yeah, because you broke skin. And I think this has, well, it's antibiotics yeah. for sure. All right, Julie's getting the trekking poles out, which uh, we haven't had them out 
up until this point because the um, the trail's been pretty level, but so often when we're out here hiking, I usually get reminded that even on the level parts, sometimes the trekking poles come in handy because there's a rock here, a rock there, and you can otherwise trip on something as somebody did today. So um, I should have had mine out earlier. Would have saved a Band-Aid or two. Yeah. We saw a snake too, little baby. Yeah, cool. So we are um, at the falls, Red Something Falls, and somebody spotted a goat in the cliffside. And you can see it with your eyes, but like it's, it's, it's like very tiny, teeny, teeny. So binoculars are excellent to bring when you come to uh, areas like this, when you're looking for animals in particular and possibly other things, but wish we had some binoculars. There's a bridge crossing, one hiker at a time. So that's what we're gonna do to make it to the other side. All right, and we've made it to, I think it's called Bullhead Lake. Very nice here. We seem to be alone. So nice to have this uh, view and scenery to ourselves today. And uh, somewhere in a few minutes probably we'll have a bite for lunch. And thus concludes our hike to is it Bull, Bullhead Lake. The hike to Bullhead Lake was rated like in the middle zone, so right. like moderate. But as we were hiking it, you had mentioned, geez, how do they rate these hikes? Because it was entirely level. It seemed on the easy side. You know, the only thing that we could think of was the length. So it's about, I don't know, four miles, four hours, a little more if you go a little bit beyond the, uh, the edge of Bowhead Lake. So it took us a total of about five hours from the hotel. Uh, we did stop for lunch. Mm -hmm. And we stopped for some other stuff. Yeah, well, pictures. We always take pictures and stuff. And oh, what do we take pictures of? A moose. We saw a moose. How cool yes. is that? It was very cool. It was eating in the um, shallow part of the lake. I forget which one it's called. The Red Rock Lake. And I mean, just right there, you, you know, across the lake, but very clear, very big. Yeah. Like, horses. Yeah. And then we also had a medical situation. Yes. 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 I'm walking and I turn around and I'm sitting and I'm like, he was sitting in dirt. Did you fall? <laughs> yes. Yes, I fell. So, yeah, I mean, I started this morning, because we've been hiking for several days now, and my back was starting to, I was feeling it. I've got the disc thing that kicks up from time to time. It was, it was like slightly sore. But then I took a tumble, I, my, I mean, my, my leg, my, my foot hit a rock, and then down I went. Mm -hmm didn't have my poles with me and something about the motion of falling down when I banged my knee but I think also the falling down I did probably pull something in my yeah, back. Yeah, tight enough. And, yeah. So the hike back I just felt like I was in a trance it's like I just got to get back and it was like a long walk 
But we ran into a moose. We ran? Yes. So that was fun. Yeah. If you don't fall, I would characterize this as an easy hike other than the fact you're going four miles, which... Yeah, I think, yeah, I think for most people that we were that we saw, I mean, it seemed like, you know, easy, mm -hmm. so... Beyond Bullhead Lake, though, it gets extremely hard. Somebody pointed it out and um, going to Sunken Chalet. Well, I think it's Swift Current Lookout or something like that. Pass. Right? Yeah. Swift Current Pass. Yeah. And it is straight up. So I, I would say that would be extremely hard um, if you're going to go further. So, and some people do. I mean, some people love that height. There's also some sheer drops. Uh, somebody said it's a good sized trail, about three feet wide, but you do have sheer drops on one side. Okay. So that's a recap of our day. One of the hikes that you could take if you're at the Maine Glacier area or staying at the Maine Glacier Hotel. So we hope our recap helps you plan your future adventures. And if you like what we do, please subscribe and hit the like button on um, our channel. We will really appreciate that. And we'll be looking for you at the places where we go. Ah, uh, oh yeah. So this was interesting because this, the hike to build the, the, again. <laughs> yeah.